Okay. I'd like to call to order this special meeting of the Board of Directors of the San Lorenzo Valley Water District. Will the secretary please call the roll? Jamie Ackerman? Here. Jeff Hill? Yes. Mark Smalley? Here. And Bob Folks is absent. So that's three out of four. We have a quorum. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put my glasses on. Okay. Are there any changes to the closed session agenda? I'm unaware of any. Oral communications regarding items in closed session. Portion of the, this portion of the agenda is reserved for oral communications by the public for items which are on the closed session portion of the agenda. Any person may address the board of directors at this time on closed session items. Normally presentations must not exceed three minutes in length and individuals may only speak once during oral communications. No actions may be taken by the board of directors on any oral communications presented. However, the board of directors may request that the matter be placed on a future agenda. Please state your name and town or city of residence at the beginning of your statement. Mr. Holloway. I'm Bruce Holloway from Boulder Creek. Um, the reason I decided to come to the closed session was that I read the staff memo for the open session item. And when I got to page two, it started talking about a departure from the board policy manual. And I guess um, my thoughts here are that it's not it's not really staff's job to be thinking of departures from the board policy manual. Staff is getting paid and it's their job to execute the policies, whatever the board decides the policies are, whether it's the board policy manual or any other policy. If there's anything wrong with one of the policies, then the staff should come to the board and discuss what the problem is and see if you can agree on a change to the policy manual. Mm -hmm. But I think the, uh, the board policy manual is full of wisdom. Uh, and some of that wisdom is being lost because I don't think people pay attention to it. Um, so the board policy manual talks about vacancies. And the, the reason for the item uh, the open session item is that the change to the board policy manual to get rid of the third Thursday meetings was not fully thought through. And it, it has additional consequences, which you are bumping into uh, now. Uh, so so um, it, and the, this is all covered in the board policy manual. I mean, I really think uh, it would be better to follow it. Um, there was another departure from the board policy manual at the last meeting. Anybody that is familiar with the Brown Act would look at the first 10 minutes of the meeting where an item was added to the agenda and anybody would watch that and realize that you didn't follow the law when you added an item. Um, this is discussed in the board policy manual, additions and deletions to the agenda. And in fact, item number two there, you glossed over it pretty quickly, but there's a paragraph there. It's pretty much taken from the board policy manual. I think I understand what that sentence is trying to say. Um, it's a little bit, it's kind of a long run on sentence and it's kind of legalistic. So I think, most people probably read that and they just gloss over it. It just sort of goes in one eye and out the other. But it really is leaving you some breadcrumbs to tell you how to how you can affect them in addition to the agenda. Mm -hmm. And that's not what happened the other night. It did violate the Brown Act. So, so tonight. That there's another departure from the board policy manual. I guess I just think that you need to make it clear to the sooner and general manager that his job is to follow the board policy manual and not think of departures. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other oral communications 
regarding items in closed session. Oh, at this time we will adjourn to closed session and we will return in one hour, which is- I, th I think we'll return at 6.30. Or 6.30, we will return at 6.30, yes. Thank you. I think we Here now. Okay. We will reconvene the meeting. Uh, it is 6.30. Would the secretary take a roll? Uh, Jamie Ackman? Here. Jeff Hill? Here. Mark Smalley? Here. And Bob Foltz is absent. Okay, we took no formal actions in the closed session. So I have nothing to report. I would call for any changes to the agenda now for the open session. Are there any changes to the agenda? No changes, President. I'm sorry? No, no, no changes. changes. Okay. Oral communications. Portion of the agenda is reserved for oral communications by the public on any subject that lies within the jurisdiction of the district that is not on the agenda. Any person may address the board of directors at this time. Normally, presentations must not exceed three minutes in length, and individuals may only speak once. Please understand that the Brown Act limits what the board can do regarding issues not on the agenda. No action or discussion may occur on issues outside of those already listed on today's agenda. Any director may request that a matter raised during oral communication be placed on a future agenda. I just want to remind you to use the I'm timer. Sorry? I just want to remind uh, the new district secretary to use the timer if we do have anybody who wishes to speak. Do we have any unfinished business? I see none on the agenda. No. New business. So new business would just be the one item, the vacancy in elective office. Um, so I'll go ahead and present on this. Um, so the recommended motion, five parts, but it pretty much goes sequentially. Um, you're finding one, that there is a vacancy. Two, that um, you're agreeing to fill the vacancy by appointment. Three, that you're authorizing the general interim general manager to proceed with posting of a notice of vacancy, which would be, um, which would close on June 6th, which is 15 days after the, the posting as required. Um, in a departure from board policy manual guidelines, schedule applicants for interviews at either a special meeting or at the July 18th meeting. More on that in a little bit. Um, and then you may make the appointment at either the July 18th meeting or any properly noticed board meeting conducted before August 2nd. Um, so the background on this is government code section 1780 says that you have 60 days as a board to either appoint or decide that you're going to appoint for the vacancy or hold an election. Um, what's not clear after, or what is clear after 60 days is that the county could also come in and appoint if we didn't appoint or decide that we we're going to have an election. Between 60 and 90 days, what's not clear though is that, um, does that mean if the board goes over that 60 days, does that mean we can't appoint? That doesn't seem to be a problem. The county is kind of conferring with the county. They're okay as long as we've let them know our intent is to appoint and fill. But after 90 days, again, section 1780 is pretty clear. It says you can't appoint by then. So if you have 90 days, August is, in other words, August, August 2nd meeting would be the last day that you could fill the vacancy. So the reason I'm saying staff recommending that we depart from board policy is because we don't, the only special uh, regularly scheduled meeting between now and August is June and we will just be getting all the resumes. So you don't have, but it also, the board policy manual does say, fill the seat in an expeditious manner, or words to that effect. So 
really your choices are, and the other thing is, is that if you are gonna have it, at, say the July, if you're gonna have interviews at the July meeting, well, recall that you're having interviews, which may also be a busy agenda. So having a special meeting, you may wanna consider that. You don't have to decide today, but you're just considering that because then you're just doing the interviews at a special meeting to interview the candidates. So the, the, the language of the board policy manual, does it say an appointment in, I'm sorry, I'm just speaking out of turn. Does it say an appointment in the, in a regular meeting or does it say interviews and appointment in a regular meeting? Cause I could certainly see if, you know, scheduling a special meeting, doing the interviews, taking the time to consider it and then coming back and, you know, having a discussion and voting in a regular meeting. Um, let me check if it was that it's, um, I know that the interviews, it said that you would schedule the interviews at a regularly scheduled meeting. Um, and, and, I'm sorry, um, my brain got ahead of my mouth. That's okay. Applicants shall be interviewed at the next regularly scheduled meeting of the district board of directors following the date of closure of the application. Oops. I think you just answered my question there. And the district's board of directors will make the appointment with undue delay, but need not act at the same meeting. So it's actually, that's a little less, it's a little more vague, but essentially what it's saying, okay, the next really scheduled meeting, but there isn't one that's gonna fall within that 90 days. So you almost have to schedule it to, to well, a special meeting. Doesn't the August meeting fall within that 90 days? I mean, I'm not. Yeah, but then you're interviewing, you're interviewing at yeah. that meeting and, and Making the appointment. appointing at the same yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. So. I, I believe that's what they did the last time. It, I, it has happened that way. It, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm trying to remember, I was appointed and I believe they interviewed and you then literally held a vote. took over. I mean, you were voting, you were a member of the board after that, and you immediately began participating in the board yes, meeting. Yes. yes. So, so you interviewed the th two or three candidates and then uh, uh, put me offline and had a, had a vote and, right. and uh, came back and I was voted on. So, so we could do the vote the same day we. Uh, Review the candidates. You could do it on August if you want to wait that long. You may want right. to sew it up sooner. And so this language doesn't preclude you from doing that and mm -hmm. saying, you know, at a regularly, at a properly noticed board meeting conducted on or before August 2nd. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's so, giving you that opportunity, but it's also the departure from the board policy manuals. You're agreeing that you could also do it at a you could also schedule a special meeting just to do the interviews, let's say, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that you could decide in July, you could decide in August. Right, right. Um, if we decided that uh, we come to a conclusion after looking at these in July, and I realized that the July 18th isn't right now designated as a regular meeting right so. but it's been properly noticed yeah um is there any reason we can't appoint then oh yeah no you can appoint then. barbara barbara did you hear the question is barbara still there she's online mm -hmm. uh, um, promote her Thank you. Can you hear me now? Yes, there you go. Yeah, I wasn't signed in as a panelist. So, um, you you know, policy manual is there as a guidance. You can you can say, yeah, we recognize, but under this circumstance, yes, we need to do it this way because of the way the July meetings fall. You know, meeting in the in the holiday, and and there's right. nothing in the codes about appointing that. Um, prevents that from happening okay okay so do we go ahead and talk about taking the first couple of steps then well, one more piece to add and okay. Barbara was the one that reminded me of this it's just to remind you regardless of what happens whether you appoint or decide to elect mm -hmm. etc is that seat is still going to be up for election and right November. yes you understand Agreed. Right. that's okay. exactly so what happened with me okay so Barbara wanted to make sure I made that point. So I yes. 
she's the boss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so. Just yeah. The, so okay, and the candidates should appreciate that. They need to know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I think. I think what we could do here is can we kind of agree to the things that we know we all agree on, which, you know, I think the first decision was, you know, agree that we have a vacancy. Second decision was agree that we want to appoint versus, you know, to hold a special election. I think that one to me is obvious. It's too close to the election to justify the cost of a special election at this point. Um, so I think we can take those off the table and it's, you know, I, 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 I tend to agree that um, it is more in, you know, the interest of having these interviews done so that if for some reason you are not in a position of appointing a candidate at the July mm -hmm. meeting, you still have the August meeting to do mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Okay. So are you done with your presentation? Yes. Okay. Mark, would you care to make a motion? Um, so, Excuse um, me. Mr. Yes. We still need to take public um, I think we need to agree what the motion is. Um, uh, interviews on the 18th. Um, item five, then. Um, Do we need to go, do we need to tonight um, agree on points four and five uh, interviews? Because if, if we put that into the motion, that's what we are set to do then. If there was some reason we needed uh, to have a properly noticed special meeting before the 18th of July okay. uh -huh. to put somebody else on the board. I don't want to, I don't know whether we should have a motion this evening that we then have to, um, what, countermand? I'm not sure I'm following you. I, I, I think we need to have the motion and if we need to if we need to adjust the dates at the next meeting we'll have to adjust the dates but um, I mean, at this point yeah we still have the june meeting right yeah. to so i i mean mm -hmm. we still have the june meeting right um you're not hemmed in by anything though mark i mean you, you could honor before august 2nd means you could do it any time between now and then it's not saying you can't do it before july 18th I will point out, though, for the candidates, you also want to give them that timeline and say when you're taking the applications that you're also giving them a heads up that this is kind of what you're thinking. That's a mm -hmm. that's a good point. Yes. Is it? OK, OK. Uh, you're convincing me then on points uh, four and five. OK. But by all means, consult Barbara's on the line so she could. <coughs> in if, if, right. Um, if okay. anything's. Mm -hmm. OK. Okay, so we then, will make a motion and then we will call in. Yes, yes, fair? I'll make the motion. Or do you um, want to? The, the, wait, wait. Well, uh, at this point, I would like to uh, quote the board policy manual. We've seen it. I'm talking about orderly discussion. Yes. Um, this is about board meetings. And there's it's, so it's 9F is where I'm finding it. It talks about orderly discussion and it says, the chairperson shall typically conduct discussion in the following order. Staff presentation, if any, followed by one opportunity for comment by each director. Public comments. Then we'll have your public comment. An additional opportunity for comment by each director, then a request by the chairperson for a motion. Fine. So... We will this has that. been uh, frequently abused in the last year. Mm -hmm. um, the board policy manual says there will be public comment before there's a motion. That's fine. And I just I just told you in the past that it's a slap in the face to make a motion when you haven't even heard the public comment. So we are always willing to hear. It. Okay. Um, if you if you look at 1780 carefully. 
Just a reminder to begin timing this comment, please. Um, Thank you. Mr. President. Yes. Jamie's pretty cute, isn't she? Bruce, Hi, Bruce, will you please me. proceed with your comments? I was just interrupted by Jamie, and this is a frequent, a frequent event. Please do not interrupt him again. Allow him to finish his comment. Can I have my three minutes now? Yes. I think Thanks. Your three minutes already. Okay. If you look at 1780, I mean, I really think you should start at the top and go down point by point. Um, but the point that I want to make, the most important point that I want to make, is that after 60 days after the vacancy, your board loses any authority to make an appointment. It can only be done in 60 days. That's what it says in section 1780. So you get down to subdivision D and it talks about 60 days. Now, if you don't do either D or E, then it falls to F, which is the board of supervisors can make an appointment. That's a fact. Um, when I started reading the staff memo, I know the Board of Supervisors usually goes on vacation during the month of August, I mean, the month of July. Uh, so I looked up their schedule. They have no meetings at all scheduled for July, and the next meeting is August 13th. So the Board of Supervisors won't even be meeting during the 61st through 90th day at all. I highly doubt that they would call themselves back together to try to make an appointment to this board. I don't think that's what they usually do. They usually want special districts to take care of themselves. Um, but your authority expires after 60 days. It's like in the Cinderella story when the carriage turns into a pumpkin. You will not have any authority to make an appointment after 60 days. So I want to tell you a little story about two districts. Down the street, there's the fire district. Uh, Rick Rogers resigned from the fire board about a month after he retired from being district manager there. Um, they, they were able to fill that vacancy within 60 days. They did have a special meeting. Um, they generally meet monthly, uh, but they were able to do it in 60 days. So that was a success. Um, the other district down the street is the rec district. And they fell into this problem a couple of years ago where they failed to make an appointment in 60 days. And they have four, four uh, members now. Uh, they've had four members for over a year because they gave up their, uh, their, their authority to make an appointment. And so they can't fill it anymore. The Board of Supervisors didn't fill it. Theoretically, um, somebody could force them to have an election, but the people that care understand that elections are costly to a little district like that. So nobody wanted to make them pay for an election. But they have been uh, living with four board members for, um, for over a year. And it's exactly because of this, because they failed to make an appointment in 60 days. And um, Thank you. I think that I think the 3 p.m. deadline is also. I don't understand why it's 3 p.m. Why can't we please talk? cut him off? Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to make a motion then, well, unless let's, there's let's anybody ask, else from the public. Let's ask for any comment from our legal counsel on this. No, I don't have any response to that. I okay. hear the comment. Okay. Well. Is there any accuracy to the idea that we would be unable to appoint after 60 days? You can appoint between the 60 and 90 day, not after the 90 day. Thank you for your legal perspective. Yep. Okay. I'll make the motion that the board uh, finds the seat is vacant as of uh, May 3rd, 2024. And we agree to fill the vacancy by appointment. We'd also like to direct the interim general manager to proceed with posting a notice of vacancy with June 6 at 3 p.m. as the closing date for receipt of applications. And in departure from the board policy guidelines, schedule applicants for interviews at 
either a special meeting or at the July 18th meeting and make an appointment at the July 18th, 18th meeting or at a properly noticed board meeting conducted on or before August 2nd, 2024. Seconded. So we have a motion and a second. Secretary yep, we'll call roll. Uh, Director Ackerman? Yes. Director Hill? Yes. Director Smalley? Yes. And Director Fultz is absent. Uh, okay. Get to my agenda again. Give me a moment. Okay. We have nothing on a consent agenda. We have no district reports. We have no written communications. We have no informational material. Um, this meeting is adjourned. Yeah. Do we have to say something about going back into closed session? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Yes. Yes, you do. Oh, we do? Okay. Yeah. okay. Meeting's not adjourned until the closed session is over. You have to come back out of closed session. Okay. Okay. All right. So I don't expect that that's going to be long. But... Okay. So we're going back into closed session and then we will adjourn yes. the meeting. Yes. Thank yes. You. Okay. Thank you. So if you'll hang around then for us to there, come back. Uh, Yeah. Okay. okay, so um, in the closed session, we agreed to extend the employment agreement that we have with Mr. Fuss for two months while we conclude additional negotiations with him. And I was appointed the negotiator to work with him on that. And that's what we did. So, okay. I will be getting together with Mr. Fruss and uh, very shortly in proceeding. Okay. 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 Uh, are there any other comments or questions? Thank you all. We are now adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.